Hey, it's Josh from Walnut Ridge RV. Now we're gonna go over a weight distribution setup when pulling a travel trailer. Okay, let's get into it. First thing we've done, we've already got the truck backed into position. We've already ha actually had it on here. So I've got the weight off of it. So we're ready to set it down on the ball. Now I've taken a quick measurement between the, the top of the wheel and the and the wheel well, because we're gonna see how much it's gonna squat and make sure we're set up properly when we get done. Once that initial setup's done, you won't have to do that every time. Unless maybe you change the weight of the trailer by adding a bunch of stuff to the front of it or a lot of extra weight or a lot of extra weight in the bed of your truck. That would be the only scenarios that you would probably have to maybe make an adjustment on the weight distribution. But let's get started on just the basic hitching and, and unhitching of weight distribution. So once we got it on here, we're actually just going to lower it down onto the wheel. We just want to get this low enough to get the weight on there so that we can lock it in place. Now we're actually going to stop there and we're going to lift the weight of the truck up um, with the using the power jack for our uh, for our uh, support on this. So we're actually going to lift this up because what it's going to do is make it easier to move these bars into position. If we didn't lift that weight up, you may have to use your snap-up bar that comes with your system and take some extra force to get that on there. But if we lift the weight of the truck and the trailer up high enough, we should be able to line these bars up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and check this one while we're here. Yeah, we can slide right onto the bracket. We should be able to on this one. There we go. Now you have less, uh, less effort to be able to get it on. We'll put the pins on there. Now we're actually ready to just lower this down on the truck and, and put that weight and let these weight distribu distribution bars capture that weight and distribute it to the front of the vehicle and the back of the trailer. So we'll go ahead and lower this now. Okay, we have the weight completely on the distribution bars now. Um, now would be a good time to step back, visually check, and see that everything looks level. But more importantly, we're actually gonna take that measurement and make sure that we are adjusted correctly um, so that you get the proper toe going down the road. Now, we went down to nine inches. We started at 10 inches, so we moved one inch. Basically, what you're looking for is to only have a 50% to 100% um, change in in the the distance on your wheel well so we were at 10 inches we went down one inches the difference um in there is only going to be one i've already pre-measured uh without the weight distribution bars how far we went down and we only went down to about eight and a half so we got an extra half an inch that we've actually stopped it from going down and if you do the math on that we're around 75 percent it's exactly where we want to be for this setup so we know we have proper weight distribution the reason you do that if we have it too much and they have too much weight off the front of the trailer and the back of the truck it's, it's going to make for some weird pulling you're going to get a lot of uh, swaying behind you because you force that weight too far on the outsides so there's nothing to control it in here the sweat the sway part of this is going to struggle a little bit to keep up and uh, it's going to give you some chucking and bouncing if we didn't have enough of it where this is really squatted down now the sway control part of it's not going to work hardly at all because it's going to be forcing those bars it's going to be too much so this thing's just going to feel like it's all over the place behind you so it's important to get it in that spot again if you loaded the back of the truck up with a whole bunch of weight and it changed that measurement drastically you may have to adjust your brackets and you can see on the brackets where we've got set there's multiple holes so the simple thing to do is take a three quarter inch wrench we take these off obviously with the trailer unhooked, um, then we can move these brackets up. If we move the brackets up, we are distributing more weight to the front of the vehicle and the rear of the coach. And the way you can think of this in your mind is, pretend your weight distribution bars are uh, handles to a wheelbarrow. The higher you lift on those handles, the more that weight goes to the front of the wheelbarrow. So then you're distributing that weight forward, easier to manage. We're doing the same thing with these bars. The lower they are, the more that weight's coming back to the back end of the wheelbarrow. So that's kind of how you look at that. So we move these bars up, it would actually take more weight. We probably wouldn't even squat a half an inch on this truck. If we move this down to the bottom hole, then we're gonna allow uh, a little bit more weight to be back here. These bars aren't gonna quite do what they're supposed to do and you're not gonna have an 
you're gonna have an unpleasant ride trying to pull this thing, especially on the interstate or a windy day, which it's really not gonna help you. So that's the importance of making sure it's set up properly and checking your adjustment. One other thing we'll go over, these, they're just clamped on the frame and they don't, you don't over tighten these. You don't actually wanna bend the bars in where you have some gap in there. They need to be flat against the frame. So there is a possibility for them to sometimes move out of position, especially after towing for long periods of time or after several years of owning it. You've hooked up, you've used it. So you need to check periodically that these are in the correct measurement, which for weight, for the, for the equalizer that we have here, um, we're set up uh, 27 to 32 inches is where you need to be. Inside that range is ideal for these to work. As long as we have three inches past the bar here, which we do, we got uh, five and a half because I've measured from the, the ball and we're 29 inches on both sides. You wanna make sure that both sides are even. If you can't get 29 inches, say if you get it on this side and you can't get it on that side, so you can only get to 30, we'll move this one back to the 30 spot so that they're even. If you can't get between 27 and 32, you may have to move something like the LP tanks maybe need to have their mouth moved so that you can get it where they need to go. Very important, but periodically check. These things can move, slide around, get an angle. You just loosen up the bolts on the backside, get it back in position, snug those back in tight where everything's flush, and uh, then you'll be good to go for, for your next trip. Okay, one other thing we should go over is how to unhook. Um, and there's a procedure to do this as well. Once you get to the campsite, the tendency for some people is to just uh, snap the bars off, unlock it, lift it off the head. Can be dangerous. Now, equalizer bars are supposed to be fairly tight. This is an older system, it's a little worn out. We probably need to make adjustment to it. Uh, but you don't wanna do that for, for the, the possibility of it kicking out and maybe hitting you in the leg or something. It could injure you. Those are solid, pretty heavy steel bars. So the best thing to do when you get there is run your jack all the way down, take the weight off of it like we did when we uh, hitched it up. You're gonna actually lift the back end of the truck a little bit to take any of that weight off the bars. Then it's safe to pull them off the bracket. And then what I'll show you what'll happen is, um, then you won't be able to unhook it because you've got the weight against the top. So let's go ahead and run this. We can see now we've kind of got the pressure off and now we're against the ball. We're raising the truck up off of it. If you remember from our measure, we only moved about an inch. So that's about all the further you're gonna to have to go to get it up off of there. We would unpin this and then you can move the bar. So you can see we can still go over the top of it, no problem. If we still had weight on there, when you kick this off, that, that may drop down. It's gonna shift the trailer, probably gonna freak out a little bit, but that's what we'd do. Now, like I said, once you're at that position, you can't unlock this. This thing's too tight because we're against it. So you'd actually have to lower the truck back down, get the pressure off the ball, unlock it, raise it back up off the ball, then you can pull out. So that's pretty much it on uh, hitching and, and unhitching on the weight distribution system.